Good morning. So I am just finishing getting ready. We are heading to Vegas today and it should be fun. Um, just finished packing, of course, because I finished packing the morning of. But yeah, I'm gonna vlog the whole experience. Haven't gone to Vegas in a minute, so it should be fun. We're staying for three days and well, two nights, technically three days. So it's like almost 8.30 in the morning. And, oh my God, he's squeaking that thing. We're staying at the Nomad, which is a Park MGM hotel. So there's like a ton of new stuff in Vegas that I haven't even experienced. But I'm gonna take my friend down to the Arts District as well, I think, kind of the downtown area and do vintage shopping. <coughs> Here we go. Here we are. Yay. Ready to go. She's drugging Just up. Drug it up. <laughs> Just like day cool quick. Been sick for like a full week. week. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Four hours and three minutes. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's not bad. Look at where we are. Some cute little coffee shop. <laughs> we made it to Barstow, but we have to pee and we're gonna get Starbucks. I don't like Starbucks, but I like their egg white bites, so it's fine. <laughs> this is all that's out here. And there they are, little egg whiteies. Little French egg whites. And we got reusable cups. Because yes. With a reusable strap. Ooh. Oh. Sexy music, <laughs> sexy dude. <laughs> Romantic seating. The jams playing. Oh my god. Okay. That scared me. <laughs> I don't know what I thought. Pizza, ice cream, dinosaur situation over there. It's a big mood. I mean, the jams are playing too. Okay, so just to keep it real for for the gram slash YouTube or whatever, right, so we, we pulled into Calico Ghost Town, and the machine was down for cash, so we literally or for cards, so we literally had to go to the gas station and get cash. And there's nothing near here, so there is no gas station. We came back. <laughs> so everything's like a mile out, so we had to go back down. Well, actually, we went back down and I bought twin snakes because those are really good gummies, but they had no cash back. Thank you. And we're here. Hello, spirits. Oh, wow. 
Hello, ghosts. Okay, hold that. Oh, Ooh, okay. We got pamphlets and stuff. Right now. Ye old west. Can you, feel it? Can you feel it, Mr. Krabs? Look at that. That's sick too. So we're up on the right. Okay, this is super cool. Here's the, the firehouse. In case the ghosts get too spicy. There's people who like camp here. You guys, there's like a full town, I think. Like a full, I don't know what I was thinking this was exactly, but there's a corner for stage coaches and buses only. I don't know what I thought this was. There's a dog. That's a good sign. <laughs> Here we are. What time we made it. <gasps> wow. You guys, this is like <laughs> an episode of Ghost Adventures. <laughs> and we've already established that Jazz is Zach. Zach Bagans. And I am Aaron Goodman. <laughs> I don't say run into stuff. Merchandise. Granny's girl. Hello. <laughs> Very good girl. <laughs> I love that dog. <laughs> vibes. <laughs> I'm into it. You gotta live it if you're here, you know what I'm saying? Oh, look at Town Hall. <laughs> to, the low, to the lower parking. <laughs> this is amazing. Okay, it gives the Mount's Prairie Farm vibes for sure. We have arrived at the room at the Nomad. So Nomad has a few locations, LA, New York, and they just opened one in Vegas. So it's part of the Park MGM Hotel, which was kind of confusing at first because we're like, where do we go? And there's just a dark, spooky corner for you to go down, which is the exact aesthetic. I guess it's more luxury, not like spooky, but same difference. Um, so figured let's do a little bit of a room tour. Okay, so first when you walk in, you see our luggage here. Um, there's a cute little chair here. But this has got, I guess, like a little getting ready area, which I appreciate because most Vegas hotels don't have something like this that actually has a mirror in front of it, surprisingly. They have like these little nooks that are like desks, but nothing with the mirror. So when there's like five girls trying to get ready, mm -hmm. it makes zero sense. Okay, so to the left past the luggage is more luggage, but it's actually the bar and another mirror. There's a lot of mirrors in here. And you open this bottom part and there's like the safe and the fridge and whatnot. Okay, through this door is the pooper. <laughs> but it has its own bathroom area which is nice with a sink because again what if you need to use the, the yeah. bathroom while someone's showering um closet here and the thing we're most excited about oh my God. here we go <laughs> they're las vegas slippers complimentary i can't wait to wear these and obviously some clothes and they have a steamer that is even better. Okay, so from the front door to the right now, first off, another full-length mirror. 
I love all the mirrors in here. And the shower bathroom. So, really nice shower, cool tile, yada yada. Um, really nice sink, and even the toiletries are really, the stuff they give you is really cool. And these glasses though. So, there's that, and now finally, into the main room. They have really nice artwork that they've selected everywhere. everywhere. Okay, so when you first come in, you've got this kind of table situation, couch view outside, this insane bed, more artwork, and the best part is a tub. <laughs> By the bed. <laughs> By the bed, because you know what? Sometimes you just want to take a bath and also watch TV, you know? Sick. Yeah, that's, the first thing I thought of. that's exactly what I would think of. So, nothing sensual, but watching no. TV, taking a bath. Yeah, exactly. So, that's the room, and we came during like a Sunday to Tuesday, so the price was really good and perfect opportunity and it's like dead. We already went yeah. to go eat and there's literally like no one around. So big plus for us. And I think now we want to go shopping and go to Gucci. No, but she was a good girl. Yeah, you're good. And she came to buy one thing. And you did. And I did. And the person, the guy helping us was so the first, yeah. rude. The first He's like, I wanted these tights. And he's like, oh, well, yeah, of course they're going to be sold out in your size because they're the cheapest, they're the thing, cheapest thing we sell here. I'm so. like, that's. Like, damn, we call her out. <laughs> <laughs> I know you called me out because I'm buying yeah. the cheapest thing, but like at the same time, I wanted take it. Take my money still. Take my money. And like, what are you doing? And so I asked this lovely woman, yeah, really named Monique, to help me. And she sold me on a color of the tights I didn't even know existed. So she got my sale. <laughs> Je te parle d'un monde qui n'existe plus Jeunesse perdue et phalange nue Je te parle d'une vie qui ne se vit plus Good morning, day two in Vegas. Jasmine's still coughing, and <laughs> we're gonna go get some breakfast at this cute little restaurant that's downstairs at the Park MGM Hotel. And then we're gonna go to downtown Vegas, the Arts District, which is really cool, and I feel like not a lot of people go there when they come here. Um, to do some vintage shopping and just kind of check out that area. If we're feeling brave, go to Bagan's Museum. <laughs> just kidding. Oh, yeah. I, we're too scared of attachments. So, um, yeah, I guess let's get started. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so we're out here. Ooh, gotta lighten it up. There we go. So we're out here in downtown Vegas area, their arts district, to do some vintage shopping, and I already found some things. Found so. It's super old and super old and French looking. Yeah. Um, I've been wanting some more paintings and art pieces for my office, so that's like what I've been looking for, and then um, also maybe some. Uh, what was I saying I wanted? Oh, like sculpture things for, yeah, shelves and for my shelves. But, okay, so here it is. I got this beautiful art piece that is so pretty and it's like a periwinkle blue behind her and just so feminine and beautiful and I loved it so much. And she was like, oh, let me, there's no price on it. She's like, oh, but all the other ones are like $200. And I'm like, mm, no, it's okay. But um, she asked her boss and it was 65. So I was like, I'll take it. And it's a big piece framed. I mean, honestly. It's in really good condition. I feel like you can't even find that for like normal prints nowadays. I end up spending with the frames and the art like the same amount of money, so. The other ones were super expensive next to it. Yeah, the other and ones were really expensive. That was a big expensive. one, the other ones were tiny. So, look off to a good start and now that's like literally just been one store so I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> So we're here, taking a break <laughs> for toast and matcha. But I already ate the toast because I'm really bad at <laughs> vlogging apparently and I was really hungry. But I took a picture of it because it's either one or the other. So here's what it looked like for those of you wondering. And it was basically, I don't remember what cheese it was, but some kind of cheese and then honey and cinnamon. And it was so good. So... Yeah, I gotta get better at that. It's either on video or it's on my phone and never both, so. It's a lot of work. It's like when you're hungry. Yeah. You just like wanna go into the toast, you know? Exactly. So what do you think of this little district? downtown area? It's super yeah. cute. It's Vintage lot. shopping's good. Vintage is good. It's Vintage a little stinky. little expensive, a but little not out of control. I've seen it worse in like LA and sure. um, Palm Springs especially. So okay, now we're gonna head back. Just had our matcha and I like chugged it. it was so good. <laughs> Normally I don't get it sweetened, but. Yeah, and it's freezing and she didn't bring a jacket, so. That's cool. <laughs> I have like all these layers on, I have like a blazer, yeah, and a sweater. sweater, and this. And she's just in like a little sweater. She wearing that new Gucci out. So we are heading downstairs to get a drink and then gamble $20. <laughs> Maybe more if we're doing good, but like start with 20 and then see where we go with it. Who knows, I don't know. So um, some of you guys might recognize this dress. Uh, I wore this in my recent IGTV try on. It is from Choosy and it's freezing here. So I paired it with a black thin uh, mock neck, not like a full turtleneck, and then this petite studio blazer, and obviously Gucci tights, and my favorite boots from 
I am intentionally blank. So that's the look. And okay, here we go. Gonna go eat breakfast, but this is it. Last morning, lazy outfit. Literally wearing entire world sweatshirt, blue and gray. They're basically sweatpants because they're elastic, but they look like trousers, so it's fine. And my big old jacket because it's freezing. Did we have fun? Yeah, we're just tired and old. Like dying because. My back is killing me. <coughs> okay, peace. Peace out, Vegas. <laughs>